Offensive coordinator Ken Dorsey uh, talked about the way Deshaun Watson is playing and throwing in this new offense the Browns are installing. Speak for him, obviously. I think that's something that, that he can attest to. But, you know, from, from my experience and, and just from, from coaching the position, I think it's a lot of the position in general is about confidence, you know, and, and going out and doing it and, and repping it and hey, making a mistake or, or making a, a good play and, and learning from those things and uh, growing from those things. So I think part of that is, is always just the confidence of going out, hey, can I, uh, uh, can I fit this into this window in practice? And, and that's where you learn, can I do it in the game, you know? Um, so you do want to obviously play practice like a game and, and make it game like, but also, you know, you're going you're gonna to try to do some things to see Hey, can I do that in the game so it's not the first time? And I think that's the that's the feel he's he's continuing to get uh, within what we're doing systematically. With that, let's welcome in Dalton Walserman from PFF. He's a data, data analyst, uh, co-host of the PFF College Football Show. Uh, Dalton, appreciate the time. What about it? What um, what have you seen the last couple of years from Deshaun Watson? And is there a reasonable chance you see that improve. So we haven't seen a whole lot of great with Watson, right? He missed obviously a year and a half of football and he's dealt with some injuries in Cleveland. But I think Coach Dorsey makes a great point about confidence and there's really two layers to it, right? The first one is the schematic one with the playbook and the new offensive coordinator himself that he mentioned. But the other is just the physical ability of Watson. And it's weird to say that for a guy in his late 20s, but Talk about a guy that missed a year and a half and then the last couple of years hasn't really played the full complement of snaps. And what we see over the last two years is he doesn't make as many big throws as he used to in Houston, and he doesn't quite run as much as he did back in his prime in Houston. So you kind of look for him to both refine that physical ability, obviously, after another big shoulder surgery and to find the confidence in the playbook to be able to execute. So those it's a lot to work for, but is it in there? Is he still young enough for, you know, for him to get it back? But yes, but it's going to take a lot of work. Yeah, the other thing that's kind of interesting is, you know, he missed 11 games the first year because of the suspension. Then it was play a couple of games, miss a couple of games, play a, and I, again, it's hard to have confidence in anything when you don't do it regularly. Yeah, I totally agree. I mean, especially last year, he plays the first three games and then he's hurt and then he plays a few more. It's, it's, we really, it's, it's a hard evaluation because we haven't seen him just be able to play with a consistent rhythm, right? When it's stop and start and stop and start. It's why really, you know, it's so hard to be a backup quarterback in the NFL because you never know when you're going to play. But when you're the $50 million starter, you have to be out there every single week, right? The best ability is availability. And if he's out there for 17 games, we can get a true evaluation of him both physically and mentally. We just really haven't been able to do that during his first two years in Cleveland. Yep. 